So Robert, could you relate to not wanting to retire? Because I think we spoke about that before. Yeah, I mean, I, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not a, <coughs> a person who um, thinks about retirement. I mean, I, I don't know what I would do if I retire. I mean, what does that mean? Uh, you got to do something. I'm always busy, keep myself busy. Uh, so that's what it is. Do you think it's more creative people? It's harder <coughs> to like let go, maybe? I don't know. I think some people who are like Ben, in a sense, had a job you, where you'd think that he, you know, once he's out, he's out. He wants to retire, do things, see the world, and he says all those things. But at the end of the day, he's he's uh, that's not satisfying enough for him. He has no contact with people. His friends are dying, and so it's um, uh, you know it's a kind of a perfect thing for him to get into. Do you think that far ahead, Anne, about retirement and things like that? Not at the moment. I mean, I should probably start financially planning for it, but um, but no, I haven't. It hasn't occurred to me to retire or that there will be a moment to retire. <laughs> um, my dad's still working, and my father-in-law, he reminds me a lot of Ben in the movie in that he retired, but now he's consulting with a lot of starting uh, companies mm. that are just kind of getting on their feet, and he's kind of become their Ben. Um, so I, th I don't think it's for everyone. I'm not to. I will email you when I have something for you to do. I'll wait to hear from you, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Excuse me. I like that he has this drive. Do you do you feel like you still have that drive? Do you like challenges as much as you used to, or has that changed? I have a, a drive. Yeah, I don't like to be bored. So anything to to not be bored. So. But like before, you used to dive into this character that took a lot from mm -hmm. you. Would you go into those places again? You think, like yeah. physically and mentally? Yeah. If, if I, if they were, if that's what was required, yes. Uh, also, but there are things that I don't have to work as hard to get to. Uh, so I also discern which is, you know, where the important parts are, where the less important aspects of uh, the character we're working on, and so on. And you, Anna, you're taking on some really challenging parts too. Do you enjoy that? Do you need breaks from that and do lighter things? And how do you balance that? I mean, were the world a perfect place, every actor would have every opportunity available to them. Um, I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure anyone's in a position to. I, I don't find myself in a position where I'm like, oh, let me take a break from doing hard stuff right now. It's it's more about finding the best material out there. Um, whatever it whatever it is and I made a conscious effort in my 20s to try to make as many different films as possible just so I could get comfortable in all different genres and and working uh, and playing a lot of different types of characters so now it's really about identifying which are the ones that you know I want to leave my life to, to play I think ageism wasn't even a word before I, I didn't know the word before I moved to New York actually ageism you, ageism <coughs> excuse me how how is what is ageism? <clears throat> it's like this anti-aging movement that everyone just wants to look so young and oh, be young so the that's whole ageism, life. Really yeah, and ev everywhere is advertising about anti-aging, anti-aging, oh, anti-aging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. What are your feelings around that whole kind of the way things are going with that? It's you know how old I am? I looked it up. Yes, I know. That's not really the right age, though. <laughs> <laughs> you look great, though. I'm 85. <laughs> Please, I, I'm 86. I had work done on my face. Yeah, pretty good job. <laughs> well, I think, personally, that um, your relationship with aging uh, directly corresponds with your relationship with death. And if you're trying to avoid thinking about death, you're going to try desperately to look young for as long as possible. But if you can accept that, you know, dying is actually a part of life, um, I think you're probably a little bit more mellow about it. Does it worry you that we might be 130? No. It only worries me if, like, food runs out, you know? Like, as long as there's water and there's enough food and space for everybody, I'm cool with that. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Well, no yeah. more. <laughs> Great. Nice so to nice to meet you. Thank you.